Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of West Texas Herping. We are out here in the mountains tonight, which finally got a little bit of rain. And uh, we're hoping that this will be productive for the first time this year. Uh, mostly the eastern localities have been better. But now that we're finally getting some rain here in the mountains, we're hoping that this will produce. So we're just going to get after it, and I will keep you guys posted on how it goes. Well, we haven't seen many snakes, but Saunders, uh, he's adopted a son. Don't talk to me or my son. Okay. <laughs> Look at this guy. I'm gonna send him to private school. Only the best for him. <laughs> good, good to hear. He's a, he's a little bit quiet. I'm frankly amazed that he's not making noise of some sort. Well, if we aren't finding snakes, at least we're finding porcupines. We're gonna let this guy go and uh, maybe we'll find a snake. He's just sitting on your hand. He's like latched to my hand. Please don't. Oh no. Please don't oh, whack no, me as you go. Like... Please don't. You're free to go. You're free. You are free. This is spooky. I'm so scared for you right now. No. Oh. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> It's like, it was real warm on that hand. What is he doing? He loves it. I love you, son. <laughs> this is such a touching moment. So tender. So loving. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna break your finger. Hey. Grow up good. Okay. Why is okay. he such a good boy? <laughs> Just don't get eaten by a mountain lion. Yeah. It's okay. Ooh. Well, here at 11.30 tonight, we have our first snake of the night, and uh, it is yet another night snake. As you guys have probably seen in the last couple of videos, these are one of the most common snakes to see. Shining cuts, crossing roads, and just about every habitat out here, so not much, but it's a start, so we're just going to leave this guy to it and see how this thing turn out. Oh, Check this guy out. Another little canyon tree frog, just nestled on this dry rock, doing his best. These guys are everywhere when it rains out here, but it's kind of interesting we've seen two in the last couple of pretty dry nights. Here is our next snake of the night. It's a little bit windy, but there's a little black tail in ambush right there. It's in C2. We're just going to leave that guy right there, let him keep on hunting, and see what else can turn up. Well, there's our next snake of the night, and it is another night snake. Only two night snakes tonight so far, but we got a porcupine, so that's what matters. Anyways, we're still at it. Um, it's about one one o'clock in the morning right now, um, but snakes are still out, so we're gonna keep at it. I'm gonna grab this guy for a better look. All right, guys, here's Steven holding this guy, so you can see just how chunky he is. We've seen bigger ones, but I mean, that's a pretty good sized night snake if you ask me. Anyways, we're just gonna let him go and keep on shining. What is up, everybody? Last night was not the best, as I'm sure you saw. We did catch a porcupine, which was great. And uh, other than that, it was pretty much just downhill. A couple night snakes, and uh, my buddy called an alterna just down the road from us. And uh, we did not really see anything, so we're going to try to get out here tonight. Pronghorn. And uh, <laughs> anyways, we're going to try to get out here tonight to an area that got rain yesterday. And uh, high pressure. It's a little bit on the cool side. It's already down to 84, which is kind of weird for this this uh, time of year in the desert. Uh, it cools off really slow, and normally we start off the night around 90 degrees, and it's still about probably an hour and a half before dark, and it's only 84. So anyways, we're heading to an area that got rain yesterday, and we're hoping that it will produce for us. So I will check in with you guys when we get there, and hopefully we'll find some snakes. Well, guys, it feels good. It's about 80 degrees at sunset, which is probably the coolest weather I have had since I got here. And uh, the base of the cut is a little bit wet. It got rain yesterday. And uh, we're hoping that that will be enough to bring some gray banded king snakes out tonight. So we're going to get after it and see what we can turn up. All right, guys, just got our first snake of the night about 30 minutes after dark. And it is another sizable night snake. 
I mean, you guys are probably going to be getting pretty sick of seeing these guys by now. Um, we've seen one or two every night so far. But definitely unique looking snakes, but um, I think they suffer from the curse of the common snake being really interesting overall, but they are usually without a doubt the most common snake you see shining cuts. So we're just going to leave this guy to his business and keep shining. It feels pretty good out here. All right, guys, it's been a second since you saw me last. We've gotten two night snakes, one of which got away, but I just spotted our next snake of the night. There's a Western Diamondback coiled up right there. That is in C2. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Really nice looking snake. I love seeing these guys in habitat as opposed to crossing roads um, where you kind of get spoiled by them because they're everywhere. But it's always a pleasure to hike one up. We're just gonna leave this guy right here and keep hiking. Well, the face of this rock cut was not terribly productive to us, but since I came up top, we've gotten an Aatrox and this little Banda Gecko. This is a Texas Banda Gecko. We saw one of these the other night under the bag. This one is much prettier than that last one we saw. Definitely got some better pattern on him, but really awesome little lizards and always a pleasure to see, even though they are pretty common in a lot of places out here. But uh, we're gonna photograph this guy and leave him on his way. You doing a pose? Back at me. All right, guys. One a.m. update. It is about seventy degrees. Cooled off a lot as expected tonight, but uh, doesn't appear that the snakes are enjoying it as much as we were hoping. We have seen three snakes, two night snakes, and that Aatrox. One of the nice things got away, so I didn't even get to film it, but I mean, the outlook is pretty bleak for tonight. We're going to keep at it and uh, hopefully be able to turn it around, but I'm not really counting on it. So, uh, when I say it's a little bit cooler tonight than it normally is this time of year, that's what I mean. 55 degrees at 3 a.m. Put that into perspective, the other night when we called it, it was about 85 at almost 3 a.m. Well, last night sucked, but we're out here again with uh, hopefully better conditions this time. It's not supposed to get as cold tonight, so we're going to get after it and hopefully build turn up more snakes than we did last night, and uh, if we can at least do that, I'll be happy. So we'll see what we can get. Well, that's not a bad first snake of the night. All right, guys, here's another look at this hooknose we cruise. These are typically pretty small snakes. Uh, this one is about the size of most of the ones I normally see. Uh, these guys are thought to be mostly insect eaters, and they have a really abnormally long tongue. If uh, my camera will focus on it there. Come on. There we go. Let's see if he'll flick it for us. Of course, now he's going to stop. There you go. But, uh... Really interesting little snakes, very unique. Um, I think there's two Gyalopion in the US, right? Canum and Quadrangular. And then there's another hook nose in South Texas that's a different genus, uh, Fasimia. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the night after that hook nose we just cruised. We made a strategical reassessment because our uh, initial spot we wanted to herp was not going so well. So we came over here, and uh, first cut we got a snake at. So this is already pretty much infinitely better than last night where we saw three snakes all night, two of which were also night snakes. But any night with a hook nose is a good night, so we're just going to leave that guy right there and keep on shining. All right, guys, here's another Texas banded gecko. We saw one of these guys. Oh, I thought he was going to eat that moth for a second, but we saw one of these guys last night. Uh, I don't normally see a lot of these around here while shining cuts, but, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, pretty cool to see these guys just about anywhere. Um, they're pretty common, but they are beautiful, and they are one of two native geckos to this region. Um, we actually just saw a couple of the non-native Mediterranean geckos living on the same rock cut, so pretty cool to see them living side by side. Next snake of the night, Caitlin just spotted our second night snake hanging out on this little rock shelf. Focus camera. This one's actually pretty big, but just cruising along the cut like the last one. So snakes are moving, we're gonna keep at it. Hopefully we'll get something of interest here soon. Well, there 
is our second hook nose snake of the night in situ at the base of this cut. Look at that. That's cool. I'm gonna get a picture real quick. This thing is huge. Our second Chihuahua hook nose of the night. You gonna make him fart? I can try. No? That is a exceptionally large hook nose snake. It does not appear to be a very farty individual though. Giving this guy a little water. He's like using his hook nose to poke around in the water. Yeah, he's a little floppy on the back end. I don't know if it's because he's dehydrated or hungry. Probably dehydrated, if I had to guess. Yeah. So, you can tell this thing is about three times as long as the first hook nose of the night. Here it is next to Steven's hand. Alright guys, here's another look at this bigger hook nose. I mean, this thing is exponentially bigger than the last one. It's about three times its size. And uh, as far as I know, that other one is just a pretty normal size adult. Seems like most of the ones I see are the size of the other one. This thing is huge. And uh, I'm pretty excited to see this guy because it's not very often I get to shine these guys on cuts. They're usually on the road. And uh, as you saw, this guy was stretched out nicely along the base of the cut. Pretty cool way to find one if you ask me. But uh, we're just going to let this guy go and keep on shining. Here's another night snake. This guy was crawling along the base of the cut and I had to pull him out in the open to show you guys, but third night snake of the night. This one's big too. Uh. Alright guys, Steven just spotted our next snake of the night. There's a black tail rattlesnake right there. I don't know how well you can see him from back here. We're gonna get a closer look. But that is him coiled up right there behind that rock. Black tail rattlesnake. In ambush. This guy is sitting pretty... Oh, there's a gigantic tarantula behind him. Yeah. Holy crap, that thing's big. Are you going to eat that tarantula? These guys have been probably the most common rattlesnake of the year so far. Maybe tied with Aatrox. Um, but we're just going to leave this guy right here in ambush. Hopefully he'll be able to get a meal. And we're going to keep shining. What is going on? I was trying to get a photo of the blacktail, and the tarantula has walked up to the blacktail. <laughs> He's just sit. What on earth? <laughs> I want to take a still, but I don't want to stop recording in case he actually eats this tarantula. Which he should. What on earth? What is going on? Do it, do it, do it, dude. No? Not gonna do it. Tarantula is just uh, making his way. I guess the blacktail decided that he did not want to eat a bug tonight. And uh, he's just gonna continue sitting right there, wondering why on earth that tarantula came up, sniffed him, and then left. Fascinating. Oh my God, Steven got an old turner. Grab it, grab it, grab it. How is he wedged in that little crack? There we go, dude. I'll leave him in <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. It's a pretty big snake. Yeah. Big turtle steelers. <laughs> There we go, the reason to spend summer in West Texas. The Great Man of King's Name. And the second one of the year, hopefully not the last, we have 
a couple more months ahead of us to keep looking for these snakes. And I am, let's just say I'm excited about how the season has started. Such a perfect animal. And uh, definitely one of, if not the most fascinating, phenotypically diverse, variable snakes in the United States. All right, guys, we were headed out for the night and we cruised this guy. Nice adult Emery's rat snake. Desert corn snake looking boy. Look at that. He's got a cool neck pattern. And really healthy too, nice and thick. Yeah. Alrighty, stay out of the road. Not a minute too soon. Go on. We encountered a friend on our way home. There is a random couch's spadefoot toad crossing the road on this very dry night. The humidity is pretty high, so maybe that's why he's out and about, but good looking little green spadefoot. We're just gonna escort this guy off the road and keep on cruising. Maybe we'll see some more stuff on the way. All right, guys, we are headed back to town. It has been an incredible night. Two hooked noses, a great banded king snake, and uh, various other more common snakes. Um, all around half decent numbers and really good quality tonight. Uh, this is probably going to be the end of this video, so I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.